Hello. Today we will be discussing our ESU 50321, which is an 11 millimeter by 15 millimeter speaker with sound chamber kit. It is rated at 8 ohms, 0.5 watt. It is a cell phone type speaker, also known as a sugar cube speaker. Okay, here is our 50321 the cell phone or sugar cube type of speaker. Let's go ahead and open up the package. You can see you get several pieces to create a baffle as well as the speaker itself. The speaker itself on the one side is the soft membrane. Be careful not to touch or mar this as it will affect the sound. Uh, it has a plastic uh, piece around the outside that can be used to glue it onto the baffle. The other side, <clears throat> you have the metal part of the speaker and your positive and negative connections. When you're soldering wires to these positive and negative connections, make sure that you don't uh, cross onto the uh, metal part of the speaker itself. Uh, these connections are very tiny, uh, just needs a little bit of um, solder. Uh, if you just put a little bit of flux on them, uh, that'll help you get a nice clean connection. Now, the baffle pieces can be assembled in many different ways, depending on how much space you have in your locomotive. I've put together here a couple of them already, just to give you some ideas. If you have very little space in your locomotive, you could build them as such uh, with just a single enclosure like this, and then you just glue the speaker on top. Uh, you can do, like I said, depending on how much uh, switchers, uh, some of your RS units, like your RS1s, RS3s, etc., you might have to configure them in this way uh, due to space restrictions. Your longer hood units, you can use all of the, ba all of the baffle pieces, make it a little bit bigger, and then glue the speaker on top of that. Again, it all depends on how much space you have in your locomotive for the installation. And then you can do many different things if you have if you're going to use multiple speakers. These these uh, Speakers give you a very good range of sounds uh, from your basses all the way up to your trebles. Um, like I said, a very good range of very crisp and clear sound compared to your traditional speakers. Um, these are what we are using exclusively for our own installs. Okay, now I also have a speaker here that I wired up. to show you where you need to solder the connection points. You can see they are very tiny. All you need is a small amount of solder and make sure that they don't cross over here uh, onto the back of the speaker itself. When you are gluing your baffles together, um, the last thing you want to do is put just a bead of glue along the edges, line up the plastic part of the speaker onto the top of that, just hold it for a second or two until it cures. Make sure there's no spaces that sound can escape, and then you're good to go. Again, while you're gluing, make sure that you don't get any glue on the actual speaker membrane itself right here. There are several ways to wire up speakers. The most common methods are series and parallel. Parallel circuits are the simplest electrical circuit to wire. Adding speakers in parallel decreases the overall resistance of the circuit. Parallel speaker wiring combines all positive speaker leads together and all negative speaker leads together. 
Each time a speaker with the same resistance is added to the parallel circuit, the current draw on the decoder's amplifier increases. The circuitry of the decoder's amplifier must be able to handle this increase in current at the reduced resistance. In series wiring, the amplifier on the decoder sends an audio signal out to the positive terminal on the speaker. The negative terminal on the speaker is then connected to the positive terminal on the next speaker, and so on and so forth. The circuit is complete when the negative terminal on the last speaker returns to the negative terminal on the decoder. Adding speakers in series increases the overall resistance of the circuit. Therefore, the resistance of each speaker is added together. This type of wiring allows the amplifier to run cooler and more efficiently. Here is an example of a 50321 speaker installed into a Bowser Baldwin switcher unit. And let's give our little Bowser switcher a test run. Press F8 to start the prime mover. And that's with a single 50321 cell phone style speaker. And that concludes our product overview of our ESU 50321 speaker and enclosure. If you have any questions, please go to our www.locsound.com website or check with your local dealer.